Hi, so this this section is continuing with annuities, but instead of saving for retirement, um, we are withdrawing now. Now we're there. We're in retirement. We saved enough money, and now we're going to withdraw. So what's happening is even you have this huge amount of money when you retire because you have saved for many years, at least 30 years, right? And so... But you're not taking all that money out at once, right? You're taking out the amount of money that you request to be taken out every month to keep your quality of life or to have a quality of life. So let's say your income is 2000 a month now and you want to maintain that after retirement. So now you're in retirement and you tell this bank institution, okay, give me $2,000 every month. That's what I would like. So they spit out $2,000. Well, that means a lot of your money is still sitting in that account, right? So you're not, not all that interest is still being accumulated, but it's lessening, right? So now instead of building this amount, now you ha you're here and now it's going to be less but you're still letting the money sit. So you're still earning that little interest and sit, interest, sit, interest, right? Um, which is really great because it's your hard-earned money. It's what you've always, you know, you work a lot and you just want to enjoy your life. So we're going to have a couple of scenarios. We're going to have scenarios where you have a quality of life and you want to keep maintain that. So what do you have to do now as you're going through these years to have maintain that amount? How much do I need to save by the end of these 30 years? The other one is saying, well, I already know I want, I need, I want a million dollars by the time I retire because that'll like help me over the 30 years of my retirement. So then um, if you know the ending amount, you're like, well, how much do I need to put in every month here? So then we're going to find that, that monthly payment, that payout withdraw money. And we're also going to be finding out the ending amount. So those are the scenarios we're going to have. So here's the formula. It does look a little more intense because of the negative exponent, but no, don't worry about that. We're going to do it all in the calculator, but notice that the, this D is going to be that coefficient once again in front of those parentheses. Okay, um, and there's no other different parameters except this is going to be the initial amount, right? Your retirement, so you have this big chunk in your account, and so that's the piece of zero. And then D is going to be the regular withdrawal amount. Okay, and then R, K, and N are C, as usual. So if Uncle Moneybags wants to withdraw 10000 per month for 35 years for retirement, how much will he need in the account earning six and a half annual interest when he retires? So he wants to know how much does he need originally at the start of retirement to be able to withdraw 10000 per month for 35 years. Okay, so we have the formula right there. So let's go ahead and write down the parameters. Um, P sub zero, again, I don't know because I want to know how much I'm going to need then. I do know I want to withdraw, Uncle Moneybags wants to withdraw $10,000 per month. The rate is 6.5% or in other words, 0 0.065. K is every month, so that's going to be 12. N is going to be the withdrawal over 35 years. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the appendix line, right, my little margin, and I'll put the formula. So we have P sub zero is equal to D times one minus one plus R over K to the negative NK parenthesis over R over K. Okay. So I don't know how much I want in the end, but I do know I want to take out, or Uncle Moneybags wants to take out $10,000 in the end, parenthesis one minus one plus R over K, so 0 0.065 over 12, because it's monthly, times negative N 35 times 12, all over R over K, 0 0.065 divided by 12. Now, this will get a little bit more sticky because of the negative exponent, but as long as you use parentheses around that negative exponent, you'll be fine. And use um, extra parentheses around the numerator as well. And the denominator, you can see I already put parentheses. So you'll want to make sure that, let me put this one way out here then, like this. There we go. 
So you want to make sure to do that 1 minus 1 plus r, o, r over k to the negative three, uh, 35 times 12 first, and then multiply that by 10,000, and then we can divide. So we just want to make sure the parentheses are in line. We're going to be very robotic, right? So let's go ahead and go to the calculator. I'm going to put, starting here, parentheses 10,000 parenthesis 1 minus parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.065 divided by 12 exponent parenthesis negative 35 times 12 parenthesis and then two more closing parentheses one for the um, one minus part and one for the numerator. Divide by parenthesis 0 0.065 divided by 12 parenthesis. Enter. So once again, if you're doing homework and you're getting that error, come back, scroll forward to this part where I do it in the calculator, and that way you won't get that error anymore. But you can see we're going to have a lot here. So 1655206, and round to the nearest cent, it would be 25 cents. So Uncle Moneybag should have 1 million six hundred thousand fifty six hundred fifty five thousand two hundred six dollars and twenty five cents at the beginning of the thirty five years and then over thirty five years they can the account can spit out ten thousand dollars per month okay that doesn't that may seem like a lot to you if you're really young and you're just starting out and you have a minimum wage job it seems like a lot of money but it's actually not because if you live in Orange County where the average income is like two hundred thousand in a household or over a hundred thousand you're you're making a million over about ten years so if you think over thirty years you may need more than that ten thousand a month if you wanted to maintain a certain lifestyle but if you don't want to maintain a ten thousand dollar a month lifestyle and say oh I could totally live off like 4,000, then you wouldn't need to save as much, right? Every, um, every month during working or need as much in the beginning here as your income. Okay, so you can see that the calculator does most of the work. So in this next example, we have Professor Smart and he has saved um, 500000 for retirement. If he set up a payout annuity for 30 years and an account paying 10% annual interest, how much could the annuity provide each month? So let's just say, he's like, well, I don't know how much I'm getting each month. I just know I have five, I'm retiring now and I have $500,000 for the next 30 years. So once again, the 10% interest is again, you're not taking all that money out at once, you're taking only a little, so a lot of the money's sitting in there still. So um, uh, let's find out the, his monthly withdrawal for 30, over 30 years. So we still have the amount P sub zero is equal to D times one minus one plus R over K to the negative NK parenthesis over R over K. So let's see, um, you do know that he has started with $500,000. Um, the rate was 10% or 0 0.10, um, which is a great interest rate, by the way. Where does he live? Can I live there? Um, K is compounded every month because he wants monthly withdrawals. N is over 30 years. And D, well, we just, that's what we don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the little margin line. Okay, so we have 500,000 equal to D times 1 minus 1 plus R over K, 0 0.10 over 12 to the negative N, so negative 30 times 12. Um, and then parenthesis, all over R over K, so 0 0.10 over 12. So 
This is going to be a little tough. So again, we're going to actually do that same operations as before when we were solving for this, the monthly deposits, but now we're doing monthly withdrawal. So let's multiply each side by 0 0.10 over 12. And that way th these can reduce out and you're left with 500,000 times 0.10 over 12 equal to D times 1 minus 1 plus 0.1 over 12 to the negative 30 times 12. And then just like in the prior example, we're just going to divide each side by this huge chunk, each side of our equation, 1 minus 1 plus 0.1 over 12 to the negative 30 times 12 power. And we'll do it to each side, so don't forget. And this way, this whole factor reduces out. Okay, we just think of if I did this in the calculator, it would be some number, right? It'd be like 3D and I divide each side by 3. And so that's what it is, really. It just looks a little more involved. Okay, so now let me write it nicely. D will be equal to 500,000 times R over K, so 0.10 over 12, divided by... 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.10 over 12 to the negative 30 times 12. Now I went ahead and just put the calculator parentheses here. So 1 in the numerator, 1 in the denominator. And we'll go ahead and just have the calculator do all that work. But we have to be very robotic, very organized, and make sure that how I wrote it here is duplicated in here. So parentheses 500,000 times 0.10 divided by 12 divided by parenthesis 1 minus parenthesis 1 plus 0.1 divided by 12 parenthesis exponent and then parenthesis around the exponent, right? Negative 30 parenthesis negative 30 times 12 and then one more parenthesis to close the denominator. So I go pretty slow. It's not worth making a mistake and having to figure it out, right? So just go slow and you'll see that this monthly, if Professor Smart saved up 500000 for retirement, then Professor Smart could take out every month $4,387.86, right, rounding, rounding to the nearest cent. So um, that's a good chunk if you can live off 4300 a month and 500000 you know, at the end of re at retirement is a good amount to think about saving until. But remember, the interest rate is 10%, and that's just not realistic. This is just a very good scenario, but you can get good interest rates, you know, 3% or something, because retirement is, you know, we want people to enjoy retirement, but you will have to find a bank or an institution that does good retirement interest rates too. So we can see that the monthly withdrawal is, is going to be um, this $4,387.86. But in general, let's just say, it, let's do the formula in general. So in general, the withdrawal D is D equal to the P sub zero times that R over K, right? Divided by one minus one plus R over K to the negative NK. So, so in general, we could just have had this formula here 
where d is equal to that p sub zero times the r over k divided by one minus one plus r over k to the negative nk. So you can use this formula here, write it down, because don't go through all that process of division, dividing by coefficients, or anything like that. Again, the goal here is not to do algebra or those arithmetic operations, but to have the calculator do all that work, and so you can understand really what this means, right? So what does this value D mean? It means that Professor Smart could withdraw $4,387.86 per month for 30 years in retirement at an interest rate of 10%. Know that this amount will change if the interest rate changes or Professor Smart decides to live longer and say, well, I want this over 35 years. So the interest rate and the number of years you want to make the withdrawal are going to affect the most of your monthly withdrawal. The P sub zero is what you always start with. That will not change. It will change if you're back in annuities and you're saving up for retirement. Let's say you don't want 500,000, you want a million. That's annuity, right? How much you're gonna have to save to get there. But once you're there, that's the P sub zero and that's payout. Now you're gonna start the paying out, right, every month. And that's the payout annuity.